Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Oh, we can turn that off, right? Oh, thank you. Nice apartment. And that is... Okay, thank you for pre-ordering pre- Okay, uh, I didn't exactly pre-order it, but fine. Your pre-order items can be found in the special container in Morgan's office. Okay. Okay then, the office of Morgan Yu, Vice President Director of Research. Okay, let's get to my office. Hey Morgan, wake up. You're burning daylight. You sent the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen, I, uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Alex, you. Is that somebody related to me? New objective. You've been given an objective. Uh, okay. Inventory. Objectives. First day on the job. Put on your Transtar uniform. Alex convinced me that I'm going to join him aboard the Talos 1 space station. The work we're doing up there is too good to pass up. Plus, he says he's got a surprise. I have to jump through some hoops at the training center before I board the shuttle. Okay, so I need to put on my Transtar uniform. This is my inventory. Suit modification skill increases inventory size. Okay. No notes. Right. And... Okay, let's, let's just... What else do I have... Oh, okay, that was data. I've got data. Nothing else. I can... I can crouch. Okay. Door jammed. Open door. It's jammed. I can sprint. Oh, I have a stamina bar. I have... Closet door. Okay. Drop or throw. Okay, can I can I put it back where I? No, I can't. All right, be careful what you pick up. That's probably not that you. Okay, let's, let's just. I've already made a mess of my apartment. Used plastic tubing. What do I need? No, no, that's not. Okay. C to pick up multiple items? I can't pick up. C to drop. I want to drop you back there. I'm making a complete mess. Burnt circuit board. Take. I can pick these up. Things that flash say you... Okay. Speech synthesis and natural language generation. Excerpt from chapter three of speech synthesis and natural language generation by Sebastian Smythe. Voice conversation technology enables synthesis systems to generate speech patterns based on their source or entirely new voices without the need for exhausted recordings and pre-processing. The quality of the resulting voice depends on the training data as well as the precision of the conversation function, the conversion function and limitations in processing power. Speech synthesis and natural language generation. Is this basically for AI voices? It probably is, isn't it? Frayed wire. So I can't take that with lots of screens. Let's do some... Oh, okay, okay, what? Space to climb. Oh. I... I want to put that down. I can't pick that up, can I? Okay. Space to climb. Why do I want to climb? Every now... Every now and again... Okay! I can climb up on tables. That is... Good to know, I guess. And I... Do I know the password? Use examine. Employer often contains useful information. That was... Mouse to look. And... Okay, fair enough. Oh, I just... I have three emails, zero files, and zero utilities. Okay, let's have a look at... 
Congrats and welcome. Hello, Morgan. So glad to hear you'll be coming aboard soon. Your first official work day is Monday, March the 15th. But first, we have a series of training exercises we run with all new employees. Just some stuff to clear you for life in orbit. Exciting times ahead. Have a good flight and I will see you soon. Thomas Tucker, Human Resources. Okay. Hey, I sent a package with everything you'll need for your first day. Uniform, transcribe, and a neuromod. Install the neuromod right away, as we'll be running some tests first thing in the morning. Just follow the instructions. I'll be in touch. Okay. Neuromod. Modifications for my body, I guess? Ready. I don't know. This is from Alex. Hey, I just got off the phone with mom and dad. They... Okay, Alex is my brother, maybe? They won't be there when the shuttle departs. They're in New York. Company stuff. But they'll send their best. I think Mom's a little disturbed that both her children are going to be outside her gravitational pull at the same time. She said you better behave and do everything your big brother says. Okay, actually, she said the opposite. I'm supposed to behave and do what you tell me. So there you go. That's Mom. Anyway, everyone's excited about your ideas up there, so get ready. I'll probably call you in the morning and make sure you're up. Yes, you did. See you very, very soon, Morgan. Alex. All right, okay. I have alcohol, sticky tape. Hands-on electronics. Excerpt from the preface to Hands-on Electronics by Antoinette Sokol, or Sokol. By working through a series of practical experiments, this humble manual will introduce you to the fundamentals of modern, modern analog and digital electronics. By the end, you'll be able to construct any simple circuit. As Thomas Edison once said, to invent, you need a good imagination and a pile of junk. Well said, that man. Junk, the most underestimated thing in the universe. Well, underestimated by certain people, obviously. Oh. Okay, that's kind of cool. We've got used plastic tubing and frayed wire. Now, I can... Yeah. Ooh. Interesting. Neuromod application instructions. Warning. Neuromod should only be administered by certified Transtar technicians under controlled conditions. Subject may experience slight discomfort, swelling, or redness of the eye shortly afterward. Remove Neuromod from vacuum-sealed container. Press rubberized eye cap firmly against bony orbit of eye socket. Keep eye open. Oh, you're kidding me. Depress orange release trigger and continue to hold Neuromod against eye for five minutes. Dispose of used Neuromod in provided biohazard bag. Am I going to be a little like a... <laughs> I am, aren't I? Is that the door out? Is that with my suit in the way? Just to make sure I don't light prep. Turn the light on and off. Oh, I get a little sign that tells me. Eh. Okay. Right, what else have I got? I've got... I cannot... Oh, I could carry the couch if I had leverage three. I'm going to assume that's a neural mod. Consciousness, the fire in the equations. Excerpt from chapter one, consciousness, blah, blah, blah. Dr. Stuart Penrose. The nature of consciousness remains deeply mysterious. How can the subjective nature of experience, my inner life, be explained in scientific terms? Does consciousness emerge from complex computations among brain neurons, or is it a fundamental and irreducible property woven into the fabric of the universe? Probably the former. Uh, an account of Fermi's question. Oh, can I play? No, I can't. I can pick it up, but uh, and I can throw it, but I can't actually play. Yes, that would be fairly daft. Okay, an account of Fermi's question. This is by Dr. Robert James III. Consider that there are billions of stars in the galaxy like our sun, many of them far older. Some of these stars will have Earth-like planets. Some of these planets may have developed intelligent life. Some intelligent life may develop interstellar travel. If a civilization began before ours, it seems possible, even probable, that even at the speed of currently envisaged interstellar travel, they could already have the entire galaxy colonized. The problem is, we haven't detected any such civilizations, nor have any contacted us. Why? It is a good question. Maybe they, uh, they made their civilization and died off billions of years before we even 
came into existence. Yes, indeed. What? Cabinet search. Turn on the sink. Climb up on things. Put on a tie. I can close the door. Yes, I'm exploring random things in my apartment. I really am a messy person. I... Haven't I read? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. It continues to flash at me. The Method Psy. Architects of the Neurological Revolution. What if I told you I could turn you into a mathematician at the level of Einstein in under 10 minutes? I'd say you're full of it. That's the first thought that crosses my mind, but it withers in the face of Alex Yu's conviction. Despite myself, I'm riveted. He's not bullshitting me himself, maybe, me, no. Alex leans back in his chair. Welcome to the age of the Neuromod. All right. Oh, I can take I can take it or I could drink it. I'd, I'd like to take it. Note. Take. Congrats! Uh, thanks, I guess. That's, is that now in my notes? Oh, right. Anything that I've read is in my notes as well. Ah, oh, interesting. And emails, audio, research. Got it. Okay, okay. And... What else? Heart of the Walk. Really? Cooking with a well-seasoned wok can be a sublime, almost spiritual experience. The many layers of the blackened surface are like stored memories of all the meals that have gone in and out of the carbon steel bowl before. That sounds kind of unhygienic. Now, imparting echoes of their rich flavour and bacteria to every new meal, it is tasked to cook. I suppose the heat probably will kill the bacteria, but still it sounds kind of... Notes, cup. Okay. Yes, yes, my uniform. I'm going to do it. I'm just... Turn on the stove. Don't turn on the stove. That is a really... Okay. <laughs> I'm looting my own house. Sun-dried tomato jerky. I don't know why. I probably don't need it. But I get this urge to take it with me just in case... Probably don't need soap. Probably not. No. Or whatever that is. Right, I think, I think I'm ready to get in my suit. Yes, I am. Finally. Oh, God. Okay. Objective updated. First day on the job. That's a serious suit, isn't it? That really is. I have feet. I know I sh I don't have a mirror. Do I have a mirror? Why, why does the... Is that a mirror? Worst mirror ever. I'm not even totally sure there's a reflection. Hmm. I want, I want to look at myself. I can see my feet and my groin. I'd like to see slightly more. But... <laughs> is it is it wrong that I have this urge to, to sort of... Yes, yes, yes. Stop being paranoid. Relax. Calm down. Look at the cool fish. Hello? Morning, Mr. Yu. Okay. Uh, I can talk to you. I can also pick up your light. Heard there's a chopper on the roof. Must be for you. Right. So nobody else here gets... Ch e Echelon Residential Tower. Am I the only person who would get choppers? Lock door. Okay. Wait, space? Okay, I was not paying much attention. I think it was basically telling me all the stuff I already knew. Okay, let's do this. Let's go to the roof. How many floors? Okay. I live quite far up, don't I? Uh, be with you in a quick second. Just uh, checking around, admiring the view. I know it's not my first time here, probably, but let's pretend it is. Okay. Where are we going? Get in the helicopter on the roof. 
Ooh, nice helicopter. Nice helicopter. Mr. Yu, please make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. Fair Trend enough. Star facility is just a short hop. 78 degrees, clear skies all the way. Okay, I want one of these. I definitely... Oh, wow. Nice view. That's a nice view on the bay there. Yes, it is. Beautiful day as well. Mr. Yu. Mind the glass on the way out. Good hey. luck to you. Thank you. Report to the test center. Transtar testing facility. Sounds a little ominous, really, doesn't it? The test center. Okay. Hello, Dr. Yu. Hello. And you are... A floaty thing that keeps looking at me. Can I... Science operator! I'm a Sybil 495 science class operator. Hello, Sybil. Uh, was that it? Our research often requires intense focus and long hours. I can provide you with a psychoactive stimulant after the test. Drugs. Okay. Everyone's eager to see what you're capable of, Dr. Hugh. I know I am. That's your way of saying get on with it, isn't it? My instruments are calibrated for high-volume data analysis and live readings. Don't worry, nothing will be missed. And that's your way of saying you will be watched. Fair enough. Welcome, I... Morgan Yu. You have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. Uh, yeah. Bye, Sybil. So the elevator talks to me. At least it's not cheerful. Morgan, finally. Yeah, okay, don't you start with me. All right, now what? Report to the test center. Do I not talk to my brother first? No? Hello? Where, where's the test center? Do I, do I... Okay, I have an inventory. I have... Lots of data, objectives, what about a map? Where's, that's not the map, map. Do I have a map, come on. I don't seem to have a map, no I don't. Okay, fair enough, fair enough, who needs a map? Don't need a map. Hey, Oh. you don't look terrible in a Transtar uniform. How's your eye? Still red? What? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a you family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Run and hide. Dr. Bellamy's gonna walk you through the process. You're in good hands. We'll be in orbit next week. We'll be in orbit. I promise. Awesome. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your brother in room A. Right. Okay, Listen, this... Just be yourself. I'll see you after. You probably want me to go over there. I want to inspect the uh, little medical facility thing over there, but okay. Doctor Yu. Are you talking to me or him? Okay, testing room. Here it goes, I guess. I'll press the button, I guess. Good morning, Morgan. 
I'm Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Remove. Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. Oh, okay. Red button. Press the red button. Wonderful. That's... You're absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B, then. Really? You're, you're, you're giving me tests the trained monkey could do? And you're planning on sending me into space? Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time. Relax. Think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. What? Hit the red button when you're ready to start. Hide? This... What have I got? I got, I got a chair. I've got... Morgan, a... we can see you there. I know you can. I've not pressed the button yet. <sighs> I'm going to press the button. I've got nine seconds. I don't know what you want me to do. All right, fine. Surely you could see me here as well. I could pick it up and go hmm, somewhere else. Uh, any synaptic register at all? No? No, that's fine. No, that was terrible. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. No! We're doing marvelous. No, I'm not. Could I have... Where else could I have hidden? I mean... Fine! Okay. Now what? All right. Here we go. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. Just just go for it. Press the red button when you're ready. Okay, so... Jump. Press. I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? Simmons? I installed exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? Speaker's still on. Yeah? I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. I'm pressing buttons and hiding behind chairs. Okay. Now what? Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Me too. Thank you. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Okay. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Press start on the screen when you're ready. Okay. You're planning a vacation. Go somewhere familiar you know you love or try something new. Familiar or new? Ooh, you know, both. Both can be good. Familiar is, you know, you get some downtime, rest, recuperation, new, excitement. It's, it's too vague a question. Depends what I'm in the mood for. I'll go for new. Good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. Oh, Keep yeah. going. I clicked a button. You've been sentenced to death for your actions. How does this make you feel? Calm, it was worth it. What? Angry? Afraid? I don't know what... Kind of a little agitated would be a better description. Ooh, that's heavy stuff. Oh, oh, really? You're going to die and I'm in a bad mood about it. That's heavy. I'm sorry, where did you get your doctorate from... A runaway train is bearing down on five people who are tied to the track. You can cause the train to switch tracks, but there is one person tried to the second switch 
tra Ooh. Oh, it's the age old. Do you let five people die and not be responsible or let one person die and be responsible. The thing is, is you're responsible either way if you've got the option to switch the tracks. You, you basically are responsible even by inaction. Better question is, who are the people? Um, you know, but yeah, all right, I switched the tracks. Good. Next. A runaway train is bearing down on five people. You're standing on the platform next to an enormously fat man. Push him into the track would stop the train. I didn't, yeah, I think do nothing. How fat is he, by the way? Would, I mean, what you're now saying is, it's the same thing though, isn't it? It's this, oh, ooh, it's a good question. Because it really is the same thing. You're choosing who dies. But in the one, you're just directing a train. In the other, you are actually shoving a man into, I mean... Oh, it's a good question, though. It's a good question. The logical answer is to push the fat man. That's the logical answer. It really is. It's the one that makes sense. And yet it feels like the wrong answer. That, that's the whole thing, isn't it? It's the proof that we're... Uh, that I'm actually a human being. If this was an easy decision to make, I'd be a sociopath and should be smacked upside the head. Either that or I'm a, I'm a, you know, internet tough guy. Um, all right, I'm going to do it. I know it's the right thing. I'm not going to feel good about it, though. Almost done. A runaway train is bearing down. Can we just find someone to fix all the trains? How about that as a solution? Bearing down on five people... Tied to the track. Could stop the train by jumping onto the track, but you would die. Oh. Push the fat man. Okay. Ah. Uh, that's the... Oh. I'd like to think I'd do this. This is... This is the answer I would like to give. I'm not saying how honest wow. that is, though. I'm I mean, impressed. Well done. Well we'd all like done. to think we could do it. We're nearly through it. But would For this we? next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. In a moment, I'm going to ask you what... Uh, is my coffee? Two orcs staring at each other. What the... Oh! Oh my god! Come this... Okay, this... Could you... I'm... Okay, was that the wrong answer then? Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. He didn't ask much about the problem, really, did he? He's like, we have a problem. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Okay. Um. Okay, all the stuff's back. So looting it all was a complete waste of time. Enter. F paradox zero X. Okay. Six. Danger. Leave now. Leave now. EOM, end of message. Are they all the... S yes, I did actually have to check. Leave danger. Leave now. Okay. I'm going to put the suit on, right? Okay. What was that? S you know what? I know I should probably get out of here very, very quickly. I'm just going to take a few items. Yes, yes, I am. Notes. Yeah, uh, sparkling wine. I'm just taking a 
win it. Encyclopedia of Food and Science. I don't think I need that right now. No, I don't. Okay. Okay. Now I definitely... Okay. What the... Okay. Wrench. I'm taking a wrench. I've got... Hello, Morgan. It's time we spoke. Hi. My code name is January. You're not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. If you want to know what's going on, first, you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not safe. Uh, dude, Patricia Varmer is... Break, break... Okay, wait a minute. Out of curiosity, wasn't there a... There was a... Okay, why does she look that way? Lock. No, okay, that uses stamina as well. Locked. The fish is fine. Um, can I use this to get through the glass? What was that? Money? No. Oh, right. You know what? Let's. Anything I think might be useful. There were carry. I don't want to carry it. I want to empty it, basically, because my instincts do what comes naturally. The man said, "Pick stuff up." Nothing there. Ah. Uh. Okay. Um. So I'm... Good. You're in the simulation lab. Now get to the exit. I'll keep in contact. I'm in the s Simulation lab. Um... Note, take. Okay. Uh, February the 22nd, 2035. Sleeping. Wakes up, turns off alarm. Checks transcribe. On computer, various tasks. Take shower. This is... They're, they're... Okay, so they've been watching me. Wait. Am I... Am I... Am I in like... Oh my god. I, I'm, I'm having a kind of... I'm in some sort of weird reality TV show where I'm the star and don't even know it. If you've been on branches of our main product line, you know that sometimes we need to put in extra effort to hit our milestones and any external risks are fully taken into account when these decisions are made. The move to extend indefinite was a direct request from both Alex and Morgan. Sylvain Bellamy. Oh, oh, that's not, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I was trying to scroll. I was actually trying to scroll up. No, no, don't hit. No, no. Okay, my bad. Wrong. Just calm down. At this point, Morgan's exhaustion is inhibit inhibiting our ability to get useful results. That's to say nothing of the long-term damage we're likely inflicting from the constant Neuromod installation and removal. Tell me again why we've extended testing indefinitely. They're installing and removing a Neuromod? All I know, this morning's incident has left people shaken. To prevent unnecessary panic, please refrain from contacting people outside of your department. A station-wide announcement will be made shortly. In the meantime, Miss Elazar and her security team are on high alert and will field any research you have. I know some of you are worried about Dr. Bellamy. He's currently being treated in the trauma center and is in critical but stable condition. Thank you. Wait a minute. What, what what year did it say I was what what does what does the clock say um see this is 2035 I daily tests no this okay I'm 
I'm not totally sure 2033 was the year I thought it was. Oh my god, am I doing a Groundhog Day? Am I doing a Groundhog Day? I'm doing a Groundhog Day, aren't I? Okay, okay. Relax, relax. Check everywhere. Look for clues to tell you what the hell is going on. Okay, we've got a stairway. Sound stage rules. Simulation debrief. What am I hearing? Okay. Computer cart. The safe code is... Oh, God. Something. Non-local... Sub... That sounds like an automatic door. Note. Making this entire SKU as effective. I uh, do not know what the hell that is. No, I don't. Out. Password, ICOP0876. Please tell me that's... Yeah, nice. What the hell is going on? Reminder about company. This is just a friendly reminder from the relevant portion of the policy handbook. Uh, 2.7, password protection. Do not share your password with anyone or leave it on the screen as a post-it. Pass post passwords must not be inserted into email messages, transcribed conversations, or other forms of communication. Do not write down the password and store them anywhere in your office. If you suspect your password has been compromised, report it to IT. Okay, I know about this morning. Bad install. The test results today were all negative. Did you install the correct neuromods? Touch base with Graves and figure out what went wrong. This should be your... They're installing neuromods on me. Are they? Okay, debriefing safe. I don't have a code for it. I'm being watched. The safe code is... Can I see that? No, I can't. Simulation briefing. Absolute silence when simulation is in progress. Do not enter stage unless in costume. Do not interact with subject off script. Always reset the position of stage, stage props in apartment after each test. Replacements for damaged props can be found in the storage area. Be careful not to bump glass when in observation zones. The helicop... Whoa! The Hephaestus Hefty Twist Loop Handle Wrench is a standard issue for all maintenance personnel employed in Transtar facilities. Good for liberal application of percussive maintenance, percussive maintenance, and mechanical agitation. Use mouse one to swing. Importantly, press and hold to charge attack for maximum damage. Why did I suddenly get that now? The helicopter ride looking glass sequence should only be reset in the overlooking control room. Make sure to clear the rooftop of any stray objects during the simulated flight. Always return the helicopter to its ready position. Okay. So that's a hefty attack. So I've been... I've been in a simulation and getting tested on Every day for how long? More rules. God, they can absorb me through. Observe me, excuse me, absorb me. Okay, simulation labs. Replacement props for stu- Replacement if he takes all the alcohol. All right. I, no, I don't need those. I do not need those. Got a flashlight. Use it. What? I don't know why I'm picking that up. Yes, I do. Have it. What the? Okay. Now, if I'd have come from this direction, would I have got to the same place? I think so. Yes, I do. Now, I had an office. I had an office, didn't I? Where there was a shotgun. I'd like to find that office right now. Okay, 
press the button. Do not open door while simulation is in. Okay, that's how they get in here. To do oh, good warning. Do not You'd think that'd be automatic, actually, if the simulation is in progress. No, that's that's an exit. That's that's an exit. What the hell? I simulation debriefing observation storage. I want to go to storage. This was storage, but there was a there was a thing. Simulation soundstage. Open door. Oh. Oh wait. Okay, these are these are the. Do oh, okay. <laughs> that can't be good. That most certainly. I can I can close doors. didn't check everything in here, did I? No, I did not. I... Top. I don't know what that leverage thing is, but I think I need one. Okay. Here's what I'm not seeing. A shotgun. Got an elevator and an exit. Okay, so this is the this is the helicopter simulation. Something has... Something has gone horribly wrong. Out of curiosity. Okay. I can do that. I can do that. Not sure why I'd want to do that, but... Is... That's... That's testing facility. The testing facility. Okay. There was. There was something else for me to. There was an elevator, but. My floor roof. Probably just part of the simulation, right? Won't take me anywhere useful. Alright, I'm going to admit to being ever so slightly... ...creeped out. This is... This is, this is where the testing was going on. This... Quick select. The quick select menu allows you to quickly alternate between weapons and powers. Assigning weapons and powers from your inventory or favorites wheel by selecting the items or... Okay. I can... I can put items on quick select, can I? So I can hotkey weapons, but not the med kit or the food item. They seem to be automatically assigned to plus and minus and mouse four. That is a little strange, but okay, I guess. All right. What? What is, what is, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. I saw a... 
Can we pick up plasmas? Everyone calls them mimics. Be careful what you pick up. Mimics. Be careful what you pick. Are you telling me they can mimic items? Dude, seriously? Oh, that glass looks like it's close to breaking. Wait, there are two chairs in there. Uh, so one of the chairs is a mimic. Email? Okay. Okay, okay. I know, right, done that one. Alex has requested all orders go through him after Morgan's outburst at the debrief. Pending a psych evaluation, Alex indicated he doesn't want any more surprises from Morgan. Nor do we, granted Morgan had forgotten everything from the last test as expected, but the aggressive response to the same set of testing criteria was clearly a departure. My recommendation is we need to start charting personality drift before future tests, in debriefings and within the test itself. Bellamy. So I started acting more aggressively, did I? Yeah, I do not think I need transcribe Marco Simmons. Alex. Simmons? What's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. Crumpled paper? Anything useful? No. Trash can what about this 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 piece of paper is not? Carry and search? What? Okay, search the trash can. Okay, so I, I can do a full on go and loot it if I want. Microscope. No, alright, okay. Exit to lobby. Skill recorder. Stage B control room. Oh, right. This is the. It's a lobby. What's this? This is my. Oh, seriously! This is pretty twisted. Stage B control room. Okay, that's the exit. Here's the thing before I leave, I really do want to know what the hell is going on. Which means staying a while longer. Okay. What the? Be careful what you pick up. Uh. Okay. The cup. It was the cup. Okay. I can carry you? I don't want to carry you. <laughs> what the... Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. I've taken a tiny bit of... Right, okay. So, if I... Uh, plus. No, that... That one, right, so that's the med kit. Oh, probably I didn't need, maybe I didn't need that one. Maybe I could have used mouse. Yeah. Right, I'll tell you what, let's do that next time. I don't know how to get out of this beyond selecting something. Okay, probably wasted a med kit. The, can I pick up the cup now? Oh no, that's, hello. Press okay to reset the simulation. Is that a good idea? Dear. Okay. 98. Oh, I've got armor. I've got mimic corpse. What? What? Take. I need necro. Necropsy required to loot that. Where was the other one? I, I could have looted this. Typhon organ. 
Mimic tumor. Okay. So I need necropsy. All right. I can I can do that. Plastic tubing. Thank you very much. And frayed wire. No duct tape. Okay. Press OK to reset the simulation. Uh, echelon. Oh, that's not what I wanted to... I'm trying to scroll, you see, basically. Scene switching in progress. So, I climb in the... Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, that is... That is kind of creepy. Also kind of cool. Yes, it is. All right. Uh, LG power. What's that? Okay. No, 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 no. Why are you switching back? Oh. Now you switch into the roof one. All right. LG power. Looking glass. Oh. Oh. So I can power down the looking glass and... All right. Fair enough. I'm not totally sure that enlightened me much more, but hey. At least we're getting a better idea of how they did all this. Oh, God. Okay, so that's Jovan Gravel. Whoa. Whoa. No one has been able to stop the mimics from multiplying since they broke containment. I'm going to help you stay alive. Just a little further. Thanks. I think. No idea what that was. All right. Shoot. Don't, don't need shoes. Med kit sounds nice. Simulation in progress. Only approved items past this. What, what's this? Psy Hypo. Is that... Does that heal the thing below the health? Because I thought that was armor at first. Got to admit. All right. Research and design. All right, in? Oh, God, really? That's a little low-tech, isn't it? Mind you, sometimes, you know, low-tech's the answer. Yes, it is. Three emails. Next week's test. Test area of effect. Copycat spooky action. Okay. I know about this morning. No, urgent. Urgent. Hey, I think Bellamy's taken data related to mimic... that in a second. Hey, I think Bellamy's taken... The corpses vanish. Search for Bellamy's corpse in trauma center. 